Well, my full name is Conchetta, C-O-N-C-E-T-T-A, and um, uh, my maiden name was Distasso, D-I-S-T-A-S-O. The two children, either a girl or a boy, that's born in an Italian family, in our Italian family, was either the, the grandfather on the father's side or the mother on the mother's side. So my brother was the first one born. His name was Frank, after my grandfather. And then after my grandmother, I was the second one. And then the other two were named into the other family. My name is John Goodman, and John is spelled J-O-N, and I was named after my grandfather. My grandfather was the last of his name. The P that I use all the time, John P. Goodman, stands for Prusslin. P-R-O-O-S-L-I-N. And with my father, the name died out in the United States. And I don't mean just among our family. I mean, there are no Prusslins anywhere anymore. When my mother was pregnant with me, um, this was to be my grandfather's fifth grandchild. My grandfather had one son, my father, who had had a daughter and in a subsequent, a subsequent pregnancy had had a grandson who had died a couple of days after he was born. When I was born, my grandfather was working uh, out of town and came to visit me and my mother and my father in the hospital and saw me, the fifth granddaughter. He was not pleased. And upon leaving the hospital, clapped my father on the back and said, well, thanks, that's some John you gave me, went back to his hotel and died that night. And the next day, I was named John, and that's why my name is John. I am named after my grandfather. My name is Leo Limon. I named myself in the early 60s Leo. I was originally named Irineo. But my mother, being illiterate, told the Anglo nurse, Irineo. And the nurse spelled it Y-R-E-N-E. -E. Oh, she forgot the O. So it's spelled Y-R-E-N-E. -E. And when I entered the family life, uh, you know, a few seconds later, I was in my mom's arms. But after that, she called me Neno. And Neno, continued until I got into grammar school, uh, kindergarten, and the teacher said, where's a yuri why limon What's your name, young man? Neno? What's who, is there a young lady here by the name of Y-R-E-N-L-O-I-L? Irene? No, I'm the only Neno here. And then from that point on, it was, um, it was part of a learning thing, which still continues to this day, where it's part of Hollywood, it's part of the medias, my getting into art, the Chicano art movement, uh, high school. It just keeps going back to where the nurse forgot to put the O. I would have been fine with eating nail, but my mom called me Neno. Everybody in the family was Neno, Neno, but I get to that point and in the education system, where finally, I guess it was the first grade, the teacher said, oh, it's not why, why, she couldn't pronounce E, or the Y is an E in Spanish, so she said, Irene. And then years later, you know, a boy named Sue, Johnny Cash. So it's interesting that, you know, I, you know, my friends from the neighborhood said, eh, Irene. And then, you know, I was already a little, little fat toughy, and they, wait, wait, little skinny Johnny, and, Pedro and Juan and Bear, don't call me that, you know, my name's Neno. But then from that time on, you know, I, I got a few bloody noses, and I, and I gave a few bloody noses, and everybody said, okay, we'll forget that. But it's interesting because, you know, I reverted to violence to try to solve a, an issue here, which is interesting as to what I'm doing now in trying to uh, push for a Department of Peace and Nonviolence, which is in Washington. But anyway, it reverts, so it's like a play in time and a play in, 
issues and things that have happened in my life just because of my name. And then uh, my name, Leo, actually, uh, I became Leo. I named myself Leo when I discovered I could walk into the Hall of Records over here on, uh, I guess it's Temple Street, and the old one. And I got the, the form, walked home, told my parents I want to change my name. And I had, I guess at that time, early 60s, I had seen a, a Life magazine and it said Leonardo da Vinci. And I said, Leonardo? No, not that. So I looked at my sister's yearbook from Nightingale Junior High School and it, I, Juan, 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 Pedro, 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 John, 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 Leo. Oh, there's only one Leo, I, okay. I'll be the other Leo. I just didn't want to be another Juan, another, you know, Jorge, or just other guy's name, you know, even Jesus, you know. <laughs> so I said, all right, Leo it is. Uh, my name is Carol, with an E, and uh, that's always an issue. Nobody puts the E on, on Carol. And um, I think it was Carol Lombard It was a, a great uh, movie star for my mother. She was... I think that was why. Also, my birthday is November 25th, so I was in the season, and actually, um, as a matter of fact, I was premature, so I was in an incubator for a month, so they really thought they were going to have a Christmas carol. It turned out to be a Thanksgiving turkey carol, but, uh, so that's where the carol came from. The Anne is my middle name, and uh, Anne was my godmother. Um, a little bit of a quick aside about Anne. Uh, I, it turns out, I didn't find out about this until I was, uh, after my both parents died, I was in my 50s. Um, I had a fraternal twin that but didn't survive the birth. And um, my parents decided that at that time, with the kind of, it, this was deep in Oklahoma and Arkansas, and I think there were probably the kind of, uh, well, much worse discrimination and stereotypes about difference and uh, abnormality and that sort of thing then as compared to now. And they just decided that this was going to be a family secret. So I never learned about that, and, except from my godmother. Finally, I was, after my parents died, it was as if a veil were drawn back in a way about certain things that seemed odd or just didn't quite add up about my early history and so she finally said you know what Carol I'm going to tell you this nobody else wanted to and uh, your parents are gone now and so here's the story so she was really close to me and this is was close to me throughout my life it was probably my mother's dearest friend and so that's where the Carol Ann comes from and you know how southern families are especially when you're in trouble. It's Carol Ann. It's, it's not just Carol, it's Carol Ann. <laughs> My full name before marriage was Linda Suzanne Vallejo. And um, my parents made up Linda Suzanne. Uh, it was a funny, they have this thing about funny spellings, S-U-Z-A-N-E. And um, I was the first child. And uh, I always say that Linda Darnell was a very big movie star in the 50s. And a lot of girls from my generation, born in, 19, in the 1950s, were named Linda after her. You don't find so many Lindas anymore. And now my married name is Linda Vallejo Dillaway. My husband's name is Ron Dillaway. So I changed my name officially so that I could keep Vallejo as a part of my name because I signed my paintings as Vallejo and it made a lot of sense. Oh, my great-grandmother called me Preciosa, which means precious one. And... Um, my aunt, one of my aunts still call me Lily Bug for some reason, you know, when you have a little kid, Lily Bug. And uh, when I was in college, I had a nickname, Maddie, Maddie Vallejo. Uh, well, my, the art name that I use now is Jen Zen, and that's actually uh, a trademark, you know, filed with the U.S. Copyright and Patent Office. And the name that I go by now is Jennifer Jen, is my middle name. Gray, spelled the old-fashioned way, but that's not my maiden name. I, my maiden name is Gressy, because uh, the name didn't have a long history. I just shortened it, you know, a little bit more after my divorce. But my middle name, Jen, 
I took that name because my great grandfather, Jens, my Danish grandfather, I look a lot like him. I have I have his nose, and uh, it was a separate name. And in the ancient tradition, you know, you would have if you had Jen as your father, and then his kids would be Jen's son, men and women, and then the Jensens if they had kids. Uh, if it was if the, the man's name was Hans, then they'd be Hans' son, and you'd switch names every generation. It's like you didn't keep the same name. You were your your kids would have like your first name with son added to it. Mm. And at one time, way 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 long ago, there was like a tradition I think where you know every fifth generation or something you'd repeat the names. That way you could kind of keep track of your clan, you know. But that's like dim history. But I, I always liked the fact that I looked like him and that there was photographs of him and uh, so I thought that was really cool. It's separate. Uh, my full name, my full legal name would be Yoshiyuki Watanabe and uh, that's the name my parents gave me. My parents are from Japan and uh, Yoshiyuki in Japanese means like happiness, and I, I guess to them it was a nice name, but it's not, it's not an uncommon name in Japan. Uh, I had a younger brother, his name was Yoshimichi, and uh, our two names sound somewhat alike. And I, uh, so when we were growing up, uh, some of my friends used to call me Yosh, uh, American friends, you know, who are Japanese. And my American, uh, and then my brother's friends would call him Yosh too, because Yoshimichi shortened would be Yosh. Uh, so it was confusing. We were both Yosh, and so we decided we would pick American names. So uh, he picked uh, Bill, and I picked Bob. And after a while, after about a week, I was like seven years old, eight years old. I said, you know, I don't like Bob. I think I'd rather have Bill. So he goes, okay, we'll switch. And so uh, he became known as Bob Watanabe, and I became known as Bill Watanabe. Of course, people still got us confused, and so some people still call me Bob by mistake. We should have picked, you know, George and Henry or something really different. But anyway, so my, my legal name is Yoshiyuki Watanabe, but most people call me Bill because uh, for non-Japanese, Yoshiyuki is just too hard. Well, my full name is Leonard, L-A-O-N-A-R-D, Bluett, B-L-U-E-T-T. But when I began playing piano around 14, 15, uh, early days of clubs and things, they thought I was older because I was always tall and had a mustache. I changed it to Lenny, you know, and that gave me, gave me some sort of, you know, kind of a flip name, <laughs> Lenny Bluett. Uh, so that's how it came out, but it's officially it's Leonard. Well, it's O.C. Gonsack, O.C. Bell, and I was named for an, an aunt and a grandmother. The O.C. was an aunt and the, the Bell was my grandmother. And uh, that's how they named me O.C. Bell. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know, I, don't, I only remember as long as I can remember my mother calling me Billy. She never called me O.C. She didn't like the name, so she never called me O.C. She always referred to me as Billy. Okay. Close friends still call me Billy. As okay. a matter of fact, when uh, Mayor Bradley was uh, MC in the program, he's referred to me as Billy. He said she's owes it to everybody else, but she's gonna always be Billy to me. <laughs>